ITR Boxing. You heard it here first. Pretty cool videos. And I heard they're also in HD. ITRboxing.com. I was I suck in every sport. Baseball, soccer, basketball, football. Yeah, I was, I was a trouble kid when I was younger in high school. And one of my friend's dad at that moment was training. Asked me, hey, why don't you try boxing? He's like, you know, it's like, give it a try. You might like it. Try it. Spar the best kid in the ring, in the gym. He touched me up. Um, then I didn't lose motivation. I came back and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna train hard. I'm gonna beat this kid. Um, trained for like another five days, four days, something like that. Came back, destroyed a guy. Yeah, I kind of felt like it was something like meant for me. You know, I was like, I was able to release a lot of my anger. Uh, it was like a stress reliever at the moment. You know, I was like, I was living the, uh, the underworld, you know, I was a trouble kid. I was always on the, on the radar of the police. I was just always like in and out of jail, uh, cutting school, hanging around with all the cool kids. I was like, man, uh, grew up, continued to do the same thing. And I got one day, was in a high speed chase. Uh, got in a, got, and then the cops did a pit maneuver, hit me in the back of the tail of the car. And I, I hit a tractor like going about 100 miles per hour or, or, or over, stopped on impact, was out unconscious, woke up, was in jail. My daughter was was in, in we were just having her baby's house, so she was just about to be born like in the fall, the couple, a few days after that. Started recollecting, thinking back, and I was like, ah, what am I doing in my life, man? It's just living, you know, the, the quick life. Went back to boxing and fell for the love of sport again, and then continued and took it seriously, you know, stopped all the bad habits. Uh, when I got back, I was 230 pounds, you know, I was like, I was living the party life, you know, drinking, you know, no sleeps, you know, um, I was just, I had a bad habit in life, you know, just, I had no good direction going. And then, um, my brother passed away at the time, you know, he was, it was a, it was a drive-by shooting, he was, uh, in the middle of it and got, got hit, you know, it was like he was, he was actually going to a mechanic place to go get his car fixed and he got hit, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't for him, you know, it was, I guess there was somebody by there that they were trying to aim and hit. So it kind of got me thinking, it was like, you know, I gotta do something with my life, I gotta be positive, you know, I got my son that was just, you know, had been born about three years ago, so, you know, and then my daughter's about to be born, so I was just like, you know, I need to do something to change my life. Got back, got my first amateur fight, went five, fights in a row with you know with the trainer that was from Richmond his name was Juan after that you know I was like I need to move up to the next level went to SFC trained there for a while found Hyro went pro and then now I'm here now I'm 21 I realized when I got back you know and I had my first amateur fight I stopped the guy in the second round and then after that my first six fights to stop every fighter that I fought. You know, these guys were 20 and up, you know, fighter plus, you know, I was just a, a novice at the moment, but I was fighting these open fighters. I was like, if I want to see if I'm, you know, competitive in the sport, let me fight the best in the sport, you know, and, and at that moment. And I was destroying these guys, stopping them. And after that, I was like, you know, this sport, the sport's probably meant for me, you know, it's like it's something I got figured out. Um, now I'm 10 and one, you know, seven knockouts. And I'm trying to, you know, get to the top and hopefully, you know, take one of those world title titles. Titles. Tentatives is like, I uh, almost got killed about four or five times, you know, by inches. Pulls missing me, not, not hitting me. You know, there's actually there was one time a guy rolled up, caught me unexpectedly. He act was, you know, playing like he was new in town and trying to find a direction. As soon as I walked in, I realized it was some guy that hated me. Pulled out a shotgun. Must have ran my, I must have ran the fastest I can, man. Jumped into somebody's house. I was in somebody's roof. I don't know how it happened. And I always had to keep my eyes open, make sure what's around my surrounding. It was to a point where every time if I eat at a restaurant, my back was facing on a mirror, on a glass. I had, I couldn't be facing backwards because somebody would try to hit me. So I was, I always had to be facing the streets. You know, stuff, little stuff like that. You know, I was like, I was, you know, doing a lot of moves and people were hating, you know, and people want to take my head out just because they want to take my position. Yeah, you know, it's the, the fear is not there, you know. I don't fear any man that I fight in the ring. That's probably one of the biggest things that in boxing, you know, a lot of fighters sometimes goes in there with fear and, and the fear is what destroys them. You know, I go in there, confidence, you know, punches don't hurt me. Life in boxing is almost the same thing, you know. It's, life is hard. 
back in the day when I was living my quick life, fast life. And boxing is like, you know, you, you're controlling there. You know, it's like, it's all up, up to you what you want to do in there. It's like, you know, if you half fast your training, you're going to have half performance in, in the ring. But it all matters in you, you know, it's like, and boxing, I mean, streets with Tommy, it's like, you know, no fear. You know, never have fear, you know. If you have fear in life, you ain't never going to be successful, you know, because fear is going to keep having you doubts. And doubts, you know, just makes you sink in and drown, you know. It's like, so that's why I don't have any fight, you know. It's like they mention me fighters a little if they want to fight me I'll take the fight you know it doesn't matter it's I there's a lot of fights that's been proposed to me you know and a lot of you know disadvantages they're trying to give me you know cut down less weight than I normally fight you know it's, it's trying to suck me dry pretty much but uh but boxing you know boxing is like a, a way of life you look I look at it it's, 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 it's the way it is you know it's like it's real in there you know it, ain't nobody can tell you anything fake that you're not gonna see inside the ring you know the, the ring is it's like your enemy, and you just gotta fight through it. Turning pro as a boxer was very emotional, at the same time, exciting. You know, at the moment when I was gonna debut, uh, just a couple, just a month, a month back, my dad passed away from cancer. He was my number one supporter, you know, he always told me I, I had it in me. He's like, uh, just gotta dedicate myself, you know, take, take time in the sport, cut all of that habits, stop kicking with friends, you know, it's like, party is always gonna be there. You know, boxing is just temporary, you know, you only got a, a cap and age that you can box, you know. Luckily, it's like, I started right at, the, right at the gap between, I was too old and too young to start. So I was like 24 or anything. so debuting was like one of the biggest thing I didn't expect to go. And I was like, I went back, I went back to boxing thinking just wanted to try, go back in amateur and fight the best and see where I was at. And going pro was just a blessing. Um, he went in there and, and did a lot of the stuff that people didn't expect me to do. He's like, you know, everybody was telling me I was too old for the sport. Um, the, the, the fighters I'm going to be fighting has been doing this for, the you know, most of their life. And young, young careers, you know, starting at 12, 13, you know, I'm starting at 26, 25. And um, if you put your mind into it, you can do it, you know, don't let anybody tell you, you know, other, you know, like, you can't do it, you can't do it. There's always going to be people negative just because they wish they could be in position, but they, they don't take that, that extra step to be there. And I want to be that, you know, example is like, you know, it's never too late to do what you want to do.